The Buda Buda sector, which has 1.2 million riders, is now raising concerns over their safety as the government gears towards opening up the economy. They want the government to scale up the mass testing before any such moves are implemented. Assuming an, uh, sensitization, education to them, and training is proper training is not done to these people, then we are preparing ourselves to the worst. Should we open the economy? Elsewhere, over 50 border border operators from Gatongora took to the streets Sunday morning to protest over the poor state of roads in the area. The operators who planted shrubs on the dilapidated road accused the county government of paying the contractor over 500 million shillings to construct the rainbow Gatongora road only for the road to last few months. Moving on, bar and restaurant owners in Kambu town have embarked on spreasing up their business premises after a short stint of closure following the Ministry of Health directive. The traders have embarked on fumigating the places as they prepare to resume business next week. The Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance is urging the government to ensure that regulation put in place to control tobacco use in the country is strictly adhered to. Speaking during the marking of the Tobacco Control Day in Kakamega County, the Alliance Chairman Joel Gitali called on the government to rein on companies using youth to promote their products. Tujua ya kwamba tunapo tumia sigara. Tunaleta madhara makubwa sana kwa mili yetu. Na kwa hivyo kuraisisha sana maangamizi kutokana na corona. Tunafanya makali ya corona kuwa zaidi. Elsewhere, youth from Ngoima PCEA Church in Thika, Kiambo County have developed a spray booth with a motive to combat the contagious coronavirus. The youth say they were motivated after witnessing the high traffic in public areas such as markets, hospitals, supermarkets and police stations. Meanwhile, two needy families in Bomachoge Church, sub county, were assisted with foodstuffs, clothes, beddings to cushion them from the COVID 19 pandemic. The families lauded the good gesture by a section of leaders from Nairobi, saying numerous cries over the same to their local leaders always fall on deaf ears. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya has in the meanwhile assured residents of Turkana County that the government will scale up efforts to spray the desert locust which have invaded the county. We increase the number of scouts like these elders you have seen me talking to. They already have information which we can narrow pass in a big way because the area is expansive and therefore even with the planes, uh, surveillance planes, you may not be able to uh, get all the areas. You, you require the community to participate in providing the information. Elsewhere, leaders from Busia and Siaya counties now want the National and County Lands Department to fast track survey and demarcation of the disputed boundary between the two counties at Osieko Beach. Finally, a newborn baby girl has been rescued after being dumped by her mother in a tea plantation in Mabrook village, Limuru, Kiambu County. The infant was found by tea farmers in the morning who alerted authorities. Suleiman Yeri, Channel 1 News.